Isn't it pretty? Kinda. Uh, whatever. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Last episode, we did some building over here in the area where we're planning on eventually crafting uh, the pressure conversion cube, or at least all of the parts that are needed to be able to make the pressure conversion cube, aside from some of the very, very massive structures that we needed so up until this point we have managed to create uh i believe all of the aluminum casings that we're going to need all of the heavy modular frames that we're going to need and let me see if i can just keep that going go back go, uh, open well don't don't then i um it okay thank you very much let's see uh pressure conversion cube pressure conversion cube this is also going to require us to build the radio control units, which also needed a bunch of plastic and a bunch of rubber. We're going to build the fused modular frames here. So essentially this basic, this base or this, this factory is going to take a lot of basic parts and put them together in a succession that is going to generally move up or sideways in the area to build pressure conversion cubes, which means we're going to build a radio control factory here, a radio control unit factory here. We're going to build a crystal oscillator factory, a cr oscillator line, circuit board line, and the AI limiter line. And then we will be adding some of the other stuff together here that we currently have because the whole reason why we're here basically is because of the fact there is some nitrogen out here on the end. And uh, well, I guess we can get to start looking at some of the stuff that I've done in between episodes because I've been kind of busy just getting things where I need it to be and laying things out. So I have reworked the, the nasty janky get, get parts here uh, system to align or the system the rail stations to align with the main factory so that it's kind of on the same limit these this all all of this concrete underneath these stations will be gone we will be supporting them on supports like we're doing everywhere else so that we can actually look down and see the big thumpy thingy that's under here making all of the stuff for us i went ahead and hooked up every single one of these Although I think we're only going to need about half of them. I went ahead and hooked them up anyway, just because that way we can have a little bit of fun. And we do have a little bit of storage on these. Again, just because it looks nice. I the Gases I have not had as much trouble with, with the flow, because they generally want to float upwards instead of downwards. The only time you have a problem with the gas is when you want it to go down. So we'll just continue dealing with that the way that it is. I did run a kind of a janky belt all the way over to that. Uh, that uh, that I that copper mine over there or the copper location where we're going to be getting the copper for the copper sheeting that we need uh, Once I get to do base decorating and a few other things I will be changing the way that looks and the way this power line looks and the way the few other things work But I did kind of start building some of the bottom here I do kind of want to split it up into buildings. I don't know why I'm just kind of doing it because I thought it would look nice It'll give us some room to move in between, and so you get to see belts and stuff moving around, so it's kind of cool that way. Anyhow, we have the heavy modular frames that we have constructed elsewhere here now. We have the uh, aluminum casings here now from our factory over in the swamp, and of course the plastic and the rubber that has been built for quite a while. So I did have to go over and work on the swamp base a little bit. We were not getting enough coal. So that coal, I just had to go ahead and put another train in on that line. It's a long way from, you know, even though it doesn't look like it, it's a long way from the middle of the swamp or the side of the swamp to, well, all the way the heck over there. So it, it's quite a long direction distance and we need the full throughput of those three coal nodes that are there. So two trains, seem to be more than capable of keeping up with that at least for now we should be okay the rest of this mess over here i've been kind of just you know sketching laying things out trying to figure out what i want to do as far as where we're going to build the rest of the stuff so the general idea i think what we want to do here is the next couple of floors or this floor right here is going to be the majority of the assembler assemblers that we're going to need let me get over here before I run out of power. Um, the majority of the assemblers that we're going to need in order to be able to build the, well, the circuit boards and the AI limiters are gonna be built right here because of the fact that they're all assemblers and well, they only needed 
18 of these and three of those, so that's kind of cool. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with the, the belting on this one because I'm gonna actually belt it from underneath. And in this one, we're just gonna belt it fairly standard the way that we've been doing it. On that platform and a platform, Mike didn't mess up, give me one of those. And a platform up about right there, which I have yet to build, is where we're going to build the well, like I say, we're going to build crystal oscillators right here, and then the radio control units, which I haven't quite got to that point yet. If we get to that point today, we're going to do it, but the radio control units are going to go hit the right button that way, up here, up on top of that. Now, once we get that done, then on top of here in the next couple of floors, we're going to be building all of the parts, or I should say all of the machines that we're going to need in order to be able to make the fused modular frames, which is going to leave us with, well, radio control units, fuse modular frames. Those two go into one of these to make the pressure conversion cube, which I have not made my mind up exactly where I want to build that just yet. I'm, I had a, a kind of a space back here for a little while thinking I was going to build some stuff back there and then realized that I could get all of these assemblers in on one floor. So. We may build just a very small thing here. We may just keep going north with this building or up with this building or maybe up with that building. I don't really know yet. I don't expect to get there today. So once we get that all done, what we're going to do is we're then going to, for funsies, and this is going to be for the funsies in a future episode, we're going to come down to this area right here. There are several copper nodes or several copper spots right here. We're gonna take all of that copper, we're gonna turn it into powdered copper, and then we're gonna take that powdered copper, we're going to fill as many of these pressure conversion cubes as we can and turn them into nuclear pasta somewhere over that hole that's over there, I think, just for funsies. We're gonna build over that hole because, hey, what, what what's more fun than fall, building over a, a void hole that you can't actually you know get out of once you die in it? So anyhow, we need to, uh, I think all of the blenders and the manufacturer stuff, this to-do list can go. I was just making sure I had enough stuff to do that. So let us get to work on this. I've kind of started the belting here already. I'm just trying to see if this is how I wanna make it work and I think we're okay. These guys are going to be the ones doing the circuit boards. So we should, well, let me see. The circuits have got to go into the radio control units. Those are going to go over there. Uh, this is going to be interesting as far as those go as well. So I'm going to have to get around these. Let's start with this part and then we can see where we can go because theoretically we should be able to build crystal oscillators fairly quickly. So these are going to be, let's start with this. We'll get these going. I'm excited. I've already got those kind of built, but let's get this going. So AI limiter, AI limiter. Okay, cool. Good deal. AI limiters are just simply going to be some of this stuff and some of the, that over there that we have already kind of set up. So let me grab that, bring it over here and figure out how we want to do this because I kind of want to have fun belting down here for whatever reason, I don't know, I'm just nuts. So uh, we don't need that one, we need our bar that has the stuff on it. This belt should be sufficient enough to transfer everything we need as far as those go. So I kind of had a thought to come down about like, because it's almost right on the edge of everything right here. If I did something like this, and then something like this, then what we can do is we can bring this up into this one and this, that like, well, like I should say that stuff into here and that stuff into here. I do know they're facing the wrong direction. That's not amazing. Um, my other question might be as to just, what does it look like if we do it like this. Turn that around so that's facing the right direction. Because we got to go all the way to the end. Do this real quick. Let me grab one of these. Oh, I love that 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 X so much. 
Okay, and then if I do this to there, that'll give me an idea where that ends up. Is that gonna look okay? Cause that'll put a, uh, that'll put a splitter like right. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. I wish things, I wish I'd have thought about it when I built this, but whatever, I'm not tearing it apart. I, no, no, don't, don't delete that. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just try to make something kind of decent looking real quick. So let's get on this. I want to kind of say, hey, hi, how are you? T-pose. Okay, so that took a little bit more work than I anticipated, just as the way it always does. You think something simple like that. I'm glad I didn't have to do that like 50 times, but at least it looks kind of nice. You got some stuff floating up in the air and a belt that's obviously not connected because of the fact that I put the thing down after the fact, but whatever. Let's, there we go, do that again. Okay, so that's kind of one of those you bring the belt down from wherever you want to go and then stack usually like anything that's down clear on the floor is pretty easy to do you just put the, the 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 whatever the splitter or the merger is right next to it and then reconnect the belt but then you got to kind of figure out where this one goes down so it's kind of the same thing you bring it all the way to the floor and then stack up the height that you want to go and then since that was of that height it made sense to kind of just lift it bring it over and around and then we drug all that over here so that we can go all upstairs all upstairs all upstairs all upstairs into these machines and these i think all we're going to do is um like i said crystal oscillators are going to be right there let's see what we can do about getting those going right now all i need to do i think is just build a merger on a flat surface i mean i guess we could build it over there Yeah, let's build a merger right here and then we'll send it where that power pole is. So, kind of preemptively planning with a conveyor wall pole or wall thingy here. Thank you, nice. And then we can merge. Maybe right there. Cool. There, 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 and since these guys are going to be on their own grid, can I, well, the power for this section, this level is probably going to come in about right there anyway, so we'll put it right here, and then once I get the walls built, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll put the power in the way I want the power to be. Um, sure. And then you can come up here. Nope. Nope. Connect. And those are really slow, but I think we only need like four or five a minute of them. Something like that. All right. So there are our AI limiters for that. So then I suppose what we can do, we can save all this mess and see if we can get to that point. This is going to be a little bit more fun of plumbing. So... The next thing we can build, I think, once these are all running, this is running, is it not running? What's wrong? Why are you not working? You have no quick wire. Why you have no quick wire? Quick wire not coming up that line, probably because it didn't get hooked up, why? Nope. Look at the thing. One thing I do like about wall hole, the, the wall, the floor hole things, is the fact that that will allow you to get that very tight against these so it's it's a very wonderful thing i do love how nice and tidy you can make things with that so that should be now getting some parts you can have that and those for now cool all right so across from us we are going to be building the crystal oscillator and a crystal oscillator i believe we need eight of these machines actually it's seven and a half but we'll just go ahead and put eight down because it's easier to do the math that way so oh, okay so manufacturers are going to center them on the platform whoop yep, 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 yep. center them on the platform figure out how many we got 13 so back seven right there is the center 
And of course, it's pretty much simple easy. So we're going to go right here. Let me just, uh, you know, whatever. That's fine. I want to, I think we'll kind of set them about like so. I was thinking we'd do about here, but let me see. One, two, looking at the front line about there. Go two that way. And that way, so that we're just a little back from that line on the last foundation. I hope I got enough parts on me before we have to go. Yeah, I think we can get some more stuff. We should be fine. And so it was like one, two, pretty even, four of those. All right, oscillator, oscillator, oscillator. We are going to be using the rubber one, the one that is alternate. There we go. And this is going to be uh, delivered to the floor above us, so I think we'll probably, let's go down here, actually. Yeah, let's go down here. I should have set it down here. Uh, 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 that one, just make sure it's in one of them. And then it should, as we copy this down, work. So we're going to do a merger. And I'm going to go that direction with it. OK. And then we do three splitter things here, which means I'm going to have to move that pole. That's not amazing. Great. Um, Let's uh let's get some power going down the middle of this then. You come to about the center line and we'll do it a little bit past, so like right there. For now. Kind of the other reason why I like using the Mark One Paul power poles is you make sure you have plenty of power flying around so that you have some power to fly with. So those are up now, so we should be able to reach out here. We have plenty of belt, good deal. Okay, so I think the biggest issue with this is I probably should have merged it the other direction. Yep, I should have merged that the other direction. Let me fix that. Okay, so now that we've got that merged that direction, we can set up our splitter mats on this side and on the other side. So, splitter, 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 splitter. I need this. And we're going to have to come back and remove a couple of these because we're not going to use them, but that's fine. I'm going to make sure there's plenty of room, I think. I think. I think I want to go back to the actual line and then down. Okay, and we'll be fixing some of that ugly. Trust me. Do that again. Cool. And then we're going to need a splitter stack right here. For one, two, three different things. And then those can go away. Let me clean up this mess. Oh, so okay, so okay, so okay. So the fun parties. Now we got to get all this stuff that's laying around all over the place in this system. So I may have to readjust this a little bit, but essentially those need to come in. The crystal underneath needs to come in. And the rubber all the way in one of those needs to come in. So probably should have twisted that. Let me, uh, I'm going to move you two guys and you two guys. That can go like this. This, nope. I love how that's possible. I do love how that's possible. So that can go to there. into there and those can start doing the work this i'm going to turn you and you like so so that i can do floor hole stuff here 
And there. That's this. Which is the stuff underneath of us. Whoa. There. I right. please select the belt too, please. There you go. Good deal. All right, and there. Those can go in. And then the rubber is going to be a little bit more fun because I want to go down, under, and over. How in the world did I get the wrong one of those? Do that. Go to work. Please tell me the other one's right. It's not. Okay, then you... This is going to need how much? 105. So, yeah, we could get away with a base belt on this even for that matter. So, you go back over there, and you go over here. You go like this. You go like... Right there. All right, let's get the rubber over there. Uh... Huh, 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 huh. Don't need a lot. That's the wrong one. This is where we need to go. This is where the fun part comes. Now I gotta get that over there. Give me a minute. Okay, and then we hook this. There, it's going to be a little off, but you're not going to know it because it's underground. Did you connect right? Yeah, you did. You just hit the wrong button. And autosave is going to stop us from getting our first crystal oscillator in just a second, so let us wait on that. Sounds like we're making parts. We're making parts. Good deal. Hey, take some of that stuff. Get it out of my inventory. Here, you can have what's left of that. I don't want it. Let's bring that to about there. And as soon as we get one of those, we can call it. I'm really glad we don't need a lot of these. <laughs> Alrighty, there's a bunch of crystal oscillators. Okay, these are going to get shoved up into the next floor when we get ready to build some more stuff. So next episode, well, I'm just going to let this kind of run. I'm not even going to worry about trying to trash can that stuff. We're going to do a little cleaning up in between. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and light up that factory or this section over here. We're going to build the radio control units because this is basically that part right there and that part right over there. Those the circuit boards plus whatever's sitting over here is all we're going to need to do that. And then with that being said, we should be able to then slap down some uh, blenders and get our fuse modular frames. And hopefully by the end of next episode, have those pressure conversion cubes, which means again, if we can get that done, then the next big fun part is going to be playing with particle accelerators and filling and making a thousand nuclear pasta in a few more. So looks like we're getting there someplace soon. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.